The police investigation has now focused on the people inside this white Honda SUV. CCTV capturing the vehicle leaving the office park shortly after Raputaman Singh Malik was gunned down Thursday morning. A review of CCTV determined that this CRV arrived at 8236 128th Street a short time before the shooting and waited for Mr. Malik. While police have said this is a targeted shooting, there are questions swirling about what led to Malik's death. His potential involvement in the 1985 Air India bombing is a possibility, but after he was acquitted in 2005, Malik remained an active and polarizing figure within the Sikh community. To look into all possibilities, investigators need to keep their mind open. We cannot 100% say that he has been killed by a certain group of potential of them. This police investigation still in its infancy. The suspects torched the getaway car a short distance away from the murder scene, trying to dispose of any evidence. The integrated homicide team is asking the public for any information or surveillance video to help identify the shooters. Aaron MacArthur, Global News. We understand this is a high profile international story. However, we urge not to speculate as to the motive as our homicide investigators will be following the evidence. Our investigators are looking to speak to anyone who is at 8236 128th Street in Surrey and it is a white Honda CRV. It arrived about 7 a.m. and the occupants were waiting for Mr. Malik. It was later found burned in the area of 82nd Avenue and 122 A Street. And we're seeking witnesses or dash cam footage for anyone who's in that area from between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. The CCTV canvas is continuing right now. We don't have that information as it's still being uh, reviewed. We don't have the information right now. We're still conducting CCTV review and video canvassing looking for witnesses. So if there's anyone in that area at 82nd Avenue and 122A Street that can assist by providing us with CCTV or witnesses that may have seen something to please contact IHIT. I can't specify as to the number of people, and so I do not want to taint any witnesses. We would like them to come forward, no matter how many people they saw. We don't have any recent involvement of Mr. Malik with the police, and we're aware that he is a high-profile person, but our investigators are remained focused on the evidence and will be following that. The call came in, the Surrey RCMP responded right away, and the first responders already started to provide uh, first aid intervention. I don't have the exact time as when paramedics arrive, but police responded right away.